Hi guys, it's Emily here, so welcome to another Create a Sim video. Today I'm creating some Sims who were inspired by the seasons. Since the Sims team just released the new trailer for the seasons expansion pack just a couple of days ago, and that expansion pack is going to be out June 22nd, which is a less than a month away. I cannot believe it's coming out so soon. I am so excited to get the new items in my game, get the weather in my game, and there's so many cool activities coming with this expansion pack. I will link the article about the expansion pack if you would like to read it because there's so many cool things that come with this expansion pack, but I don't want to talk about it too much in case it'll spoil you. I know some people don't really like to be spoiled about the new content that's coming in the game. They like to wait till they get it in their game and kind of be surprised and get their own impression of it. I'm, I'm not one of those people. I watch everything. Everything that comes out, I watch it in detail and I just, I just spoil it for myself. I cannot be surprised. <laughs> I just can't. I have zero willpower. So if you're one of those people, I'll try to not spoil it for you too much. Um, but anyways, so I wanted to create four sims, obviously, because there's four seasons. So I have a spring sim, a summer sim, a fall sim, and a winter sim. And I wanted to incorporate rain in there somewhere. And a lot of the things that I've been seeing with rain, it seems to be associated with the spring sim. So I decided that I wanted my spring sim, which is the one I'm creating right now. I wanted her to look flowery and I wanted her to look like the weather is getting warm so I have her in a tank top and jeans and this new hair is so cute I recently just downloaded it and it is it's beautiful it's got these cute little braids and it's short hair do super cute but I didn't want her to look rainy so I figured I would have my fall sim be the rainy sim so she's in like a cute little fall outfit with rain boots and an umbrella and it's super cute <laughs> um really like the way she turns out and this is my summer sim and I wanted her to look like she's been at the beach for months she's got this like wavy beachy hair she's got the sunglasses she's got the tan skin and I think she looks super cute as well lots of pink accents and then I end up going with the shorts that came with the bowling pack which I think looked perfect because they're kind of like they, they look like something you'd wear in the summertime. They're kind of like ripped up and they look like she's just been throwing them on over her bathing suit and you know, they're just super cute. Like them a lot and um, really wanted to use this hair but they did not work with these sunglasses whatsoever but I thought the beachy waves were a better fit. So yeah, really happy with the way those turned out. I was able to use that choppy hair on the last sim, the winter sim and I think it is such a cute hairdo. I just love it. Um, it's it's new also, but I will link everything in a Tumblr post if you guys would like any of the custom content that I used on these Sims. So I will have that in the description, hopefully as soon as the video is released. If not, it'll be up on there soon. So just check it later if you are curious about any of it. If not, all the CCs on my Tumblr, I reblog everything that I download into my game. But anyways, so this is the fall Sim. I had to have her have red hair. I was like, if she's a fall sim, she has red hair because, you know, all the leaves are turning colors and I wanted her to represent that. So she's got red hair and then she's got some green accents in her clothes. And then she, of course, has the umbrella because she's got to have something to represent the rain. And the umbrella is super cute. I don't imagine it would be very practical in-game if you wanted to have it in your game because it would always be in her hand. So it'd probably be in the way always. <laughs> it just look a little bit weird. But um, I think it's super cute for this creative sim. But we are going to get umbrellas, of course, with seasons because there's going to be rain. And I'm really excited to see how that works because as some of you guys know that I never played the previous Sims games that much, at least any expansion packs. I played the Sim 1 and 2 a little bit, but no expansion packs. So very excited to experience seasons because I never have before. Philly, it's gonna be great. Um, but anyways, it took me a while to sort of figure out her look, but I end up going with this super cute hair that came with the Plum Bob Tea Society's um, Cottage Garden Pack that was a fan-made stuff pack, which is great. You should definitely check it out. I did a build using it. They have another um, pack that they came out with as well, which was like a rustic wedding stuff. Um, I really want to do a wedding venue using those items, so definitely something I want to probably probably maybe towards the end of the summer when there's a like a lull in content maybe I will get back into using those because I don't do custom content builds that often but the Plum Bob Tea Society they do such a great job and it's like an entire pack that comes with so many items so anyways um yeah definitely want to do a pack using those items 
And so at this point, I'm just sort of getting her outfit situated. I have on these boots right now, but when I go to create the winter sim and I'm picking out her boots, I realize that I have these rain boots that are also a Plum Bob Tea Society um, that came with that cottage garden pack. They're super cute, so I'll put those on her in a little bit. But this is my winter sim, and I love the way she turned out. I think she is such a cute sim. She looks, I think, different than I normally make sims, and I think she's just super adorable, and I love her outfit. I didn't have too many like items that really looked like wintry or that a sim could wear in the snow, but I did my best. I do have a really cute beanie that I ended up using that I haven't got a chance to use yet because just don't really have a reason to have my sims wear beanies at the moment, but in a few weeks I will. Um, but anyways, so yeah, I used this hair on her, very cute, paired it with the beanie, and then I also used this sweater on her that is in the same color as the, like, the dusty pink color on the beanie, which I think it just matched really well and looked adorable, and then I end up putting a long sleeve, um, it's kind of like that long underwear material that came with cats and dogs. I put that on underneath. She looked warm to me. I mean... I just don't really have the best items for winter clothes in my game, but I tried my best. And then we have these boots that came with, I think, is it, are they base game? I'm not really sure. They may have came with a pack. I'll put them on here in just a second once I put these rain boots on. Adorable. So cute. Um, but these boots that I end up putting on her actually look like snow boots. They, oh, it looked like they may have had a symbol on the top. It's too small for me to see, but they they must have came with Outdoor Retreat. I don't imagine what else they would have came with, but they look like snow boots to me, so I thought that was pretty cool, and I was happy to use those. But anyways, you guys will have to let me know which sim is your favorite, and hopefully you enjoy the screenshots, but thank you guys so much for watching, and please leave any comments or suggestions that you have, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye!